Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and as well Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we are to jump straight away to the spread. All right, so uh, just one second. All right, so the first card which marks the topic for our week because I'm Scorpio as well. This is going to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome here. That is going to be the Magician card. <clears throat> Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be um, the Three of Swords. And then the last one, which uh, is uh, marking the guidance that Saru is offering to us, that will be uh, the Eight of Wands. All right, so once again, uh, the first card which stands for the topic is to be the Seven of Pentacles, followed by the Magician card, which stands for the, for the challenges that we need to overcome. Afterwards, it is the uh, Tree of Swords here which is uh, the uh, positive aspect. And the last one uh, is going to be the Eight of Wands, which stands for the guidance. All right, Scorpio, well, it does depend how that reading is going to uh, affect us, right? Or how it's going to manifest for us. But we may become extremely lazy throughout this uh, week, which is the challenge itself. But giving the fact the topic itself, the challenge is not going to be much of a challenge, all right, because the topic tells us that right now, throughout this week, we are given a, a time to rest and to think as well. So laziness, even though it's going to be a challenging thing to overcome, we don't necessarily have to put too much effort into it because it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. But let's go with the topic first. Um, <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles here points exactly that, that we are going to appear standstill in the surface, all right? Um, just granting ourselves a time to rest while simultaneously we are to know and recognize as well that the end of the road is far from being reached, okay? So we are going to cook up something. Uh, that is due to the fact because the very uh, important and fateful events are to lurk just behind the corner. So we are waiting for the right circumstances to, uh, to happen throughout this week. And that's why this week we need to make, if you want to say, retrospection. Okay, How much we are willing to invest into either our career or into our, either our relationship or future relationships, that is. you know, <clears throat> And uh, our, what we are going to gain for that investment so we can accurately put our investment on a lower stage than the benefits, meaning that you, we don't invest more than we're actually going to gain from it. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of uh, 
cups. So we do have the number seven, double sevens. This is the number of higher insight. This is the number of knowledge, the number of wisdom. And it's one of the, uh, the psychic numbers as well. So it is very unlikely. And the formation here, it is a passive uh, friend. So it's highly unlikely that we are going to... Uh, fall in any traps of, uh, let's say, underestimated testimonials or statements and etc, etc. But here, uh, what, what this week is going to be all about, you know, is how we can make the most out of such a presented situation, which situation actually is going to be um, well in, in our favor, according to these cards, but we are not going to get too cocky about it. We are not going to allow people to take advantage of our emotional um, emotional state, if you want to say it that way. And if I have to uh, classify how we are to be throughout the week, I do believe that we are going to be with the poker face, not showing what we think, what we feel, so people don't take a advantage of it. So the uh, challenges here is going to be the magician, and uh, it again it does depend what uh, the card, uh, how this reading manifests itself. But if it manifests into a, a relationship type of a field, you, we have to be very very careful, okay? Because with the magician, we will uh, if we talk relationships and interactions, we will struggle maintaining sovereignty, meaning that we may be prone to give promises or to, to do things which we are to regret later. And that's why it's very important to take your breath or for us to take our breath and just don't do anything right now until this new circumstances does not arrive, all right? Additionally to that, the magician here points that is gonna be challenging for us to negotiate good terms as well. And that is all due to the fact because we want something out of it also, okay? So if you uh, imagine two parties negotiating a, a contract, every party of every side of the contract wants everything for itself. And if the other party could work for free, that would be ideal, all right? So um, <clears throat> this week, um, just, just judging by the magician card here, uh, it's gonna be best if we, uh, how can I describe it, guys? If we stand behind our word and our expectations as well and not lift even a shred of our pinky finger if things are not developed into the direction that we want and that we are expecting. But also challenging it could be uh, to show determined actions as well so people may doubt in uh, what you are aiming for and as well you know what your intentions are also. So it's not a very good week where you are to prove yourself worthy uh, or rather like faithful and reliable to a potential suitor, let's say, or to your boss also. Best thing that we can do throughout this week, Scorpio, is just mind our own business, do what we signed for, all right, and just be ourselves instead of trying to, to push and present ourselves for what we, we are not. The accompanied card here is going to be the, page, the uh, Ace of Pentacles and the formation. It is a uh, an active enemies that we have. A very, very peculiar um, combo. Just one second. Hmm. So, um, well, literally, uh, these couple of cards here are pointing that we are to struggle knowing what we have to do, okay, or the best thing that we can do at that specific point, which is kind of understandable, Scorpio, because just like I said at the start of the reading here, we are to wait for this new circumstances or ev event to happen that it is lurking around the, the corner. And that's why at the start, the situation may uh, appear very baffling to you and very demanding as well, which could provoke you to act by showing a lack of determination of your actions or agree to things that you don't have to agree when these circumstances happen, which is the lack of sovereignty as well, you know, or not knowing how you, you how you are to place your situation, which will explain the lack of communication of skill also. So have patience, guys, and um, try to tame that primal urge to do something about it while instead keep up your cool, keep up your poker face, catch up your breath here uh, and just wait for um, for these 
um, directions to become obvious to you. On the flip side, we do have the Tree of Swords, which is a on the positive outlook, meaning the positive things. So forgiveness, it is the first thing that comes to my mind that this card shows up. So you can be forgiven, let's say, by your by ex, by your boss, for example, um, <clears throat> by your family, and you name it. Additionally to that, the Tree of Swords here may point also that you are going to be very good at crisis managing, meaning that you ain't going to uh, fall into panic, should I say that way. As a matter of fact, the more uh, criticizing your situation is the better performance uh, you are going to uh, you are going to exert in it and uh, finally the tree of swords is a positive aspect it may represent a certain truth which is going to place you into rather uncomfortable position but this truth is going to be a key factor all right where uh, you are to make a uh, adequate decision for your future development and uh, on top of all that the tree of the tree of swords here points as a positive aspect scorpio is that no matter what you are to experience you are never going to uh, lose uh, your urge for life should i say that way to be to be happy you know or, or to drop uh, in spirit the accompanied card here is going to be the full card uh, and the formation is a active uh, active supporters so we are talking about maintaining the clamorous belief and the the, the optimistic uh, understanding for the future as well uh, here waiting for or kind of like how can i explain yeah waiting for these circumstances that i spoke of are to happen so you can make the best out of it it's um it's like a jail free card that we are waiting here uh guys the uh the circumstances we need in order to uh, initiate what we have planned for so so long here with these couple of cards now a important thing however i will talk a little bit more um practically right now is that you should not be way too touchy uh, having these cards for example uh, if you have a meeting let's say that you do have a meeting with a bunch of friends and some of these friends say something that it may hurt your uh, for example dignity or, uh, or it, it may insult you in general you should not be swift to act on it because with these couple of cards most likely that friend of yours didn't me meant what they said all right they didn't meant to insult you in uh in any way and uh, peaceful and calm talk with showing no much of an attachment to what they said is going to um, be most beneficial uh, for you and the last card um, <clears throat> here which is the guidance that you should follow guys or that we should follow that is the eight of wands and the eight of wands here points that whenever opportunity arises throughout this week we have to approach it with clear headed mind all right rather than um uh, be flying in uh, among cloudy towers should they say that way or fairy towers so be objective it is what the card points here uh, as uh, whatever opportunities arise for us throughout the week we have only one shot in them and that's why the topic is that we need to think very carefully about them and to wait the circumstances to show us which uh, approach toward those opportunities is going to be the uh, the winning approach because with the eight of wands there is a winning and there is a losing approach and once we do the losing approach there is no turning back and that's why like i said it's important that we hold down our horses here the accompanied card is going to be the uh, queen of pentacles formation it is a active neutrals and actually these now are completely um circumstantial cards it is how you say it i believe where even though there are, could be opportunities for us throughout the week you know to expand on the business or to expand on our social circle or to find someone to be with we should not feel obliged to uh to take them as well uh, as the queen of pentacles here points that we do still want to unfold uh, in regards to our current undertakings, uh, in regards to our current business, you know, in regards to our current social circle, in regards to our current relationship. And that's why, you know, if we are, for example, lacking uh, 
harmony into our relationship, this reading is a big wake-up call here to, sh to tell us that we need to hold on, hold on for a second and think of what we're doing and how we want it, make the, make the retrospection, all right? See what we have to work with and make the most out of it. That is the points of this week, July 8th to July 14th, 2019. Like I said, forgiveness. This could be the key, especially when it comes to relationships here. Be willing and have the strength to forgive uh, with these couple of cards, which are the Three of Swords and the Four card, could provoke the new beginning into your current relationship, into your current career, into your current social circle, and etc, etc. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, July 8th to July 14th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.